Islam is a religion for people who think, and Islam is a religion for people who ask questions. And that's why you see scholars of all fields become Muslim. You see people who are doctors, people who are philosophers, you see people who are very well educated in their religion, Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant or, you know, even Hindu and Buddhist, people who are um, a big deal in their tradition, authorities, right, not just lay people, um, and even people who have a bad opinion about Islam or want to start learning about Islam or reading the Quran in order to disprove it. You find a lot of people who, when they embark upon that journey, they actually found out that Islam was completely different from what they initially thought, their preconceived notions, and many of them actually end up accepting Islam and becoming a Muslim, if not at least respecting Islam. Whereas when you look at the other direction, right, what are the type of people that leave Islam? Have you found any sort of scholars of Islam that have left Islam for another religion? Or people who have, you know, PhDs, academics within, you know, traditionally educated within Islamic uh, knowledge or Islamic learning that have left Islam. Usually the people that you see leaving Islam are people that didn't even understand what Islam was in the first place. And these people, you know, they get these sorts of uh, book deals and the speaker circuits and the opportunities start rolling in and honorary degrees and this and that and the third. And in reality, you find, you know, you look into their life history and you find that their family didn't really practice Islam or they practice some like really, really, you know, folk Islam that's not, you know, they don't have they have, <laughs> haven't memorized the Quran. They don't understand how Hadith criticism works. They don't understand fiqh. They've never completed sort of, uh, you know, a, a program of education within Islam. So that says something about Islam by itself. Islam is a religion for people that think, and everybody who considers themselves an, an intellectual person and an educated person and a person who thinks owes it to themselves to at least start digging and start investigating and seeing if Islam really is what you think it is.